Hello again human beings from the planet Earth. This is the third try to make this video. For some reason YouTube keeps shutting the connection off. Um, it is a sensitive issue. Uh, so I don't know if that's a factor or it's just coincidence. But anyway, hopefully this one finds you well. Um, you know, I'm reviewing some information and rehashing all the stuff I think to make sure that what I think is reasonable. And I was handed some information that, you know, tries to make Romney politics look bad, which I'm sure they are because he's a politician and they're all the same as far as I'm concerned. And So, anyhow, uh, this information was trying to say that, that Romney's tax policy will ruin the country because uh, it endorses businesses that are set up in foreign countries rather than set up here in the homeland. Um, foreign businesses get a better tax break than American business and so that's why Romney sucks and then they give you a graph that proves this the problem is is that the graph is based on the data from the former administrations and the current tax law the current tax law although it may be equal to uh, Romney's Romney's uh, views and ways may be just as evil but the current statistics certainly can't be blamed on Romney. This is how they do it and this is what you accept. Now, I think you all know my view on the Occupy movement. I'm behind the people standing up for their rights, but I believe Occupy is misguided. Um, how it started, I'm not going to debate whether it was good reasons or bad reasons because that's irrelevant. The cause is good good people will come to it. Bad people will as well and direct it in a way the bad people want it to go. And since Washington DC is very hard, they've convinced everybody to occupy places in their cities. But all that has done is become a public nuisance to most people. And the mainstream person, I'm trying to avoid using the word sheeple. That's a vow I made. I'm sorry I just said it, but I had to tell you if I'm stumbling for simple words you'll understand why the less awake of you. Um, anyway, it's very clear to me that the only Occupy that will work is Occupy the Capitol, which would have to be done in conjunction with law enforcement and our governors. Our governors must be the ones to take the presidency, you might say, and that no laws are passed or changed until every governor agrees. The governor would be the direct representative of the people and therefore the direct view of the people's will. That gives the people of each state a solid voice and it also gives the people of each state someone to hang if need be. Not endorsing hanging your governor by the way, but I'm hold accountable would be a better word. Better. Anyway, you know what I'm saying. Uh, I know you do. That's why you're here. Um, I was talking with uh, another single parent that believes the same way I do. And we also agree that a lot of the manipulations and control are through the public education system because we, we live out what we're taught and most of us don't know the Bill of Rights or the Constitution or anything of value. Um, history has been twisted. Scientific fact has been twisted. And our government controls the people that educate our children, therefore our government controls our children. We can't have that. We can't have that. Um, I want feedback. This parent who will remain anonymous for now, because again this is a sensitive issue and if you take part in this expect to come under fire, expect to be threatened with your children. But what I'm asking is all parents take a vow not to send their children back to school this year. Find alternative ways to homeschool them until we set a date where us and our children march on Washington along with the governors of our states and a legal law enforcement representative from the state.
and we demand that th this country be handed over to our governors, who for an interim period will take over the government. Folks, I hear people talking about visiting other countries and they lie to the locals and say they're from Canada or other places, that they're not from America. I grew up with the feeling and belief that this country was a, a welcome place to all people. If they were honest and worked hard, they had a home here, they were an American. That's not the country I'm in now. The land mass is still the same. I haven't moved anywhere. But the ways and the beliefs and the values of the land mass that I was born on and I've always dwelled on is vile. It's, it's vile. Proof the public school systems are controlled by the government. Obama told you when Fukushima blew up that nothing would come here. Three days later the first ra wave of radiation passed over the west coast. That same day when I picked up my children from a California public school they came out and said, Dad, they were talking about Fukushima in the school. And I said, yeah, what did they say? That's great. And they said, no radiation is coming here. And when my second child came out and told me the same, before the third child made it to the car, I was out the door and crossing the street, told my children to wait, and I informed the school that they would no longer educate my children on any critical matters without my prior consent. Okay. Microchips, lies, killing, uh, fraud, We've gone way past the limits, folks. Now, whatever your belief in God is, I'm not here to debate, but this country was founded on a belief in God, and now it defiles that same God. God being undefined at this moment. But knowing there is something greater than us. America doesn't think anything is greater than us. We control the entire planet through the United Nations. Well, Puppeteers control us to control. You know the circle. You know the ones. The same ones you're trying to stop with the Occupy movement. This is going to take a lot of people's hard work and it's going to take a lot of risk. But I say we boycott the schools, we set a date, and as parents we march with our children on Washington and demand the arrest of Barack Obama for frauds and other high crimes, which I'm sure Sheriff Apaya will f be filling us in on soon. I, I'm sure Sheriff Apaya would endorse this, maybe even come with us. We need our governor's backing. That's going to take a lot of work at the local level, and that's what we need to do. But we need to put this country in control of the people. It is not in control by the people. So, I, I will do the work. Uh, to host a web page, to, to, to get the word out. But before I waste my energy, I need to see people stand up and say, I'm a parent. I'll, I'll, I'll stand with you. And if over the course of the next week or two, I can get even 50, pe 50 parents that say, I'm with you, I'll put up the web page, start a petition, start circulating it to the, the media, to every outlet that I can. I'll, I'll work tirelessly in this effort. I love my country. I love the people of America. But I want them to represent what I grew up believing they did, and they do not. So if you have that same thought and you're willing to join in this, leave in a comment. In a couple of weeks, I'll know the people are ready to get off their ass. Your efforts won't be wasted. See, because part of believing in God is being a good steward. And one of the only things that I have of any value is my ball-busting way of life in, in tireless hours, if need be. Days without sleep, if need be. But I can't waste that effort. It's very valuable. This is critical times. And, and whatever I do must be effective. I'm not here for the money. Although I do uh, appreciate the support that comes in through the website that allowed us to expand and uh, was able to, uh, the leftover, able to uh, get some things that we needed around the house after the hit from Google. Uh, money is tight, but I'm not here for the money. Money doesn't, 
that's a, that's another lie. Um, anyway, please leave a comment if you're a parent and you're willing to embark on this. I know school here in Kentucky starts in, in three or four weeks, so we have to act quickly. And we must set in place uh, an alternative way to homeschool your children, but you still do have that right. And you know what? Ultimately, I don't really care what is written down on paper, what law is. I haven't violated anybody. I haven't infringed on anybody. I don't intend to harm anybody. That's what my law is. I have a responsibility to educate my children. That doesn't come from the public school system, nor does that come from the government. My God instilled that in me. I knew it automatically, and I don't question it. So my children will be educated. In fact, they were educated over the weekend. They're not in school. They're educated every day on the things they need to take care of themselves. So that's not an issue. But it will be a lot of work. And it will be risk. And you will be threatened. But if you're a true patriot, and you truly love America, we have to do something. Leave your comments below if you think this is feasible and you're willing to take part. In a week or two, if I see that enough people have said, yeah, let's do this, I'll set up the page, I'll get more active with it. But first, got to know that I'm not sticking my neck out there alone, because there's other things to do if that's the case. Much love, many thanks, and please circulate this video. Embed it on your websites. The remix button is there. If it doesn't work, get a hold of me. I'll walk you through uh, how, it, how to get it up in the YouTube editor without the remix. Feel free to mirror it if that's your choice with other screen recording software. Uh, if need be, I'll email you the file or upload it to a source where you can download it for free and then you can, whatever. Um, circulate this everywhere. We need a lot of support. We need millions of parents that are willing to take part in this. Fifty of them would get me moving in the right direction. Much love. Many thanks. See you soon.